Hey guys, Joe here. Today we're going to talk about the difference between assisted opening knives and automatic knives. You would think, given the name, that people could tell the difference between the two, but there's a lot of people who are new to knives, maybe aren't the best with common sense, or they're like a certain set of judges here in New York State with an agenda behind their actions that ruled that assisted knives are basically the same thing as automatic knives, even though they're not, and even though they don't fit our state's definition. I will leave a link in the description below to two different things on that court case that you can read and laugh at in your pleasure time. Now, one first really important thing when talking about the difference between assisted opening and automatic opening is going to be just that, the law. There is a federal definition of an automatic knife or switchblade as they often call it in legal texts. And that is determined by what is often called the Federal Switchblade Act. We'll be doing a separate video on that in the future. But your state, as long as you live in the United States, has probably its own definition of what is an automatic knife, a switchblade, etc., etc. You need to follow both laws. Now, the Federal Switchblade Act is mostly about shipping uh, switchblades through the USPS, but it also has some, you know, dictations there as to who can carry them or who can at least receive them through certain commercial means. But the really important one is going to be your state's definition. Your state's definition is really going to determine whether you can or cannot carry an automatic knife and what it even is. For example, here in New York State, we have a written law for our automatic knives. And assisted knives, by the written law, don't match that definition. But as I mentioned, that court case determined they're basically the same thing. And because it's case law, law determined by judge decision, now we have a situation in New York State where by the book, by the actual written definition, assisted knives are legal, but it was overridden or falsely interpreted by a set of judges, except for one badass, Judge Rivera, and now assisted knives are technically illegal to carry in the state of New York. So make sure you're looking at your state definitions and then go further, look at your city or municipality definitions because they may also have one here in the United States. Now the legal stuff out of the way, there are very clear physical differences between the two types. But first let's talk about a manual knife. Manual knives have a bias towards closure. They want to stay shut due to a detent. And then once you break that bias towards closure, it doesn't go anywhere. There's nothing in the blade to bring this knife in any sort of motion. They're called manual knives because you have to open it manually the full arc. Now, the, the big problem with those is there are a lot of people out there that have physical disabilities or have to work with gloves or at heights or with physically demanding activities where they have to work one-handed. And so it can be difficult to safely use manual opening knives. That's where assisted knives come in. They're in the next step in the evolution. They also have a bias towards closure. They want to stay shut. And after you break that bias towards closure, they don't go anywhere either. But somewhere in their arc, for example, this one right here, a spring kicks in to help amplify the force you put into the blade. So mine goes to about the 90 degree range and it stops. So you have to not only break the bias towards closure, you also have to make the blade go past a certain point then the spring kicks in to help accelerate your force and then right here the spring stops and then your force plus the springs force bring it into the locked position this is really great for people with manual dexterity issues or people who need to work one-handed and the big important thing here is while the spring is in the handle to activate that spring you have to deploy the blade either through flipper tab or through thumb stud they're both part of the physical blade they are not part of the handle now, how is that different from an automatic? An automatic has no bias towards closure, and to activate that spring, you have to either unlock it via a button in the handle, a switch in the handle, or something like that. The only thing keeping this shut is the lock. So as soon as I release that lock, it comes flying out. And if you want to look at the arc here, that spring carries it all the way to the open position. There is no bias towards closure. I can bring it all the way back into the handle and it still wants to fly out. So that is the huge difference between an automatic knife and an assisted opening knife. No bias towards closure and the spring has to be activated via a button, switch, or something in the handle. Whereas with an assisted opening knife, there is a bias towards closure. There is a plane you have to pass to trigger the spring. In order to trigger that spring, you have to apply force to the blade via thumb stud, 
flipper tab or some other part of the blade like a spidey hole things of that nature there is a very clear physical difference between these there's often a very clear legal written definition between these but sometimes people don't really understand it for whatever reason or like with new york state that particular court case there was an agenda to be had there and they kind of fuzzed the lines on purpose and that affects millions and millions of americans millions of new yorkers every single day because these can really help out a lot of people not just tradesmen but people with physical disabilities manual dexterity issues like myself these should be legal across the board in every country in my opinion they really help make pocket knives a tool more accessible to the general public especially those that have issues with their hands or need to work one-handed or have to work with gloves. Now, we'll do a video in the future showing the speed of these opening versus some other manuals to further exemplify how stupid assisted and automatic knife bands really are. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay informed, and tell someone you love them. The world's a crazy place. You can make it a little bit better with just a few words.